Hi writers, thanks for tuning in for another writing lesson. We're getting really close to the end of our reports. Today I'm going to show you how to proofread for spelling. And sorry, spelling you're going to do on your own um, using your computer or your family or books that you know. But I'm going to help you um, with run on sentences and some fragments. And I have some examples so that we can look at it together. So let me just head over here. OK, so these are nonfiction passages with run on sentences just for as my example. I'm going to read it once just the first time so you can hear how it sounds just with the punctuation that we have so far. It says. Bats are the only mammals that can fly. Mammals are animals with hair or fur. Mammal mothers can feed their babies milk from their bodies. Some bats are big and some are small. Big bats are called mega bats. Small bats are called micro bats. About one quarter of the bats on Earth are endangered. Many bats are dying from harmful chemicals in the air and water. You can help animals by caring for their habitats. You can pick up garbage and litter and ask your parents to stop using pesticides. Watch animals in your area to see how they live. Learn as much as you can about endangered animals and tell other people about them in a nature club or raise money to help endangered animals. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. It helps animals and you. Okay, wow. All right, well, that was... a. Um, I don't know if you noticed that when I read that, um, it didn't sound right. Um, the sentences sounded funny. Some of them were way too long. Um, and some of it sounded like there were multiple sentences that got all squished together and it made it really confusing and also hard to breathe because when we're reading, we usually take breaths at a comma really quickly or a period. Usually we have that second to take a breath. So when you're when you've got run on sentences and there's no periods, it's hard to breathe. So let's go through it really slowly and just put in some punctuation as we go. Bats are the only mammals that can fly. That sounds like the first sentence. Bats are the only mammals that can fly. If I'm going to add a period there, then I have to change my next letter to a capital. Mammals are animals with hair or fur. That sounds OK. Mammal mothers can feed their babies milk from their bodies. OK, some bats are big and some are small. Big bats are called. OK, so there's a big run on sentence here. Some bats are big and some bats are small. Period. Big bats I have to go and capitalize that. Big bats are called. Oh boy, those sentences are squished together, so I'm going to just Get those straightened out. Big bats are called mega bats. Small bats are called micro bats. OK, about one quarter of the bats on Earth are endangered. That sounds fine. Many bats are dying from harmful chemicals in the air and water. You can help animals by caring for their habitats. You can pick up garbage and litter and ask your parents to stop using pesticides. Okay, that's a long sentence. You can help animals by, maybe if we put in a colon there and we list these with commas, caring for their habitats. Mm, maybe, hold on, we're gonna move that colon. You can help animals by caring for their habitats. Let's put it here. You can pick up garbage comma let's take out that and garbage litter and ask your parents to stop using pesticides watch animals in your area to see how they live learn as much as you can about endangered animals and tell other people about them i think we have to put a period there so then we need to for the J and join. Join a nature club and raise money to help endangered animals. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Maybe if we stick in the word because 
it helps animals and you. Okay. That sounds much better now that we took care of all of those run on sentences. Let's just reread it quickly to make sure that we've got them all. Bats are the only mammals that can fly. Mammals are animals with hair or fur. Mammal mothers can feed their babies milk from their bodies. Some bats are big and some are small. Big bats are called megabats. Small bats are called microbats. About one quarter of the bats on earth are endangered. Many bats are dying from harmful chemicals in the air and water. You can help animals by caring for their habitats. You can pick up garbage, litter, and ask your parents to stop using pesticides. Watch animals in your area to see how they live. Learn as much as you can about endangered animals. Tell other people about them today. Join a nature club and raise money to help endangered animals. Reduce, reuse, and recycle because it helps animals and you. Yeah, that does sound good. Okay, so let's jump over my next slide. I've got some fragments. Fragments are when you've got like two small little pieces and if you actually put them together, it will make your sentences sound much better. Let's, um, let me go, let me read through this um, with you the first time without changing anything. Let's just listen for how it sounds. Coyotes live in North America and Central America. They look similar to wolves, but are smaller. Coyotes live in packs led by a breeding pair. Male cubs leave the pack when they are a few months old, but females stay for longer. However, coyotes mainly eat small prey, such as mice and lizards, so they do not need to go hunting in a pack. They usually hunt in pairs or alone. D holes are small reddish brown wild dogs. They live in Asia. They live in large packs of 10 or more animals. Sometimes several packs join together to make an even bigger group. D holes like wolves work together to track and catch prey. They can kill animals that are much bigger than themselves, such as cows. Okay, well, so let's go over here and see if we can get some of these fragments to be actual sentences. This first one jumps out, it's so weird. Coyotes live in North America and Central America. Those are two separate sentences. But if we put them together, it would take care of that fragment and it would sound better. Coyotes live in North America and Central America. Okay. That sounds like a good and complete sentence. Now the next sentence is complete and it's a complete thought. It has a subject, they, and the predicate looks similar to wolves, but are smaller. The sentence after that, is complete. Coyotes live in packs. However, I think that led by a breeding pair is a fragment. And since this fragment tells more about packs, then I'll delete the period and make the L in lead lowercase. Coyotes live in packs led by a breeding pair. Okay, I think that sounds better. Um, the next sentence about male and female cubs is a complete thought, I think, as is the one after that. But look at the sentence that begins with such as mice and lizards. Right here. So they do not need to go hunting in a pack. That is not complete. Mice and lizards are examples of the small prey coyotes eat. So I'll add this fragment to the sentence that comes before. So we're gonna take out that period, put in a lowercase letter. However, let's see how it sounds. However, coyotes mainly eat small prey such as mice and lizards. Let's put that comma back in there. Small prey, small prey, such as mice and lizards, so they do not need to go hunting in a pack. Um, let's see, now the final sentence I think is, uh, let's see, they usually, 
They usually hunt in pairs or alone. Okay, 